Giraffe spots have a fascinating connection to what's going on with their blood. And that connection helps these giant creatures to survive and thrive on the savanna. It surprised scientists and it blew my mind. So here's how it works. When I release my episode on why zebras have stripes, a viewer named someone commenting left this comment. Imagine trying to explain why giraffes have those quadricular patterns. I had to look up quadricular. It means squared or checkered. Until I read that comment, I hadn't really thought about giraffe spots. I think I just always figured they were camouflage. And they are. Just like the coats of leopards and cheetahs and servals and other spotted animals on the savanna, a giraffe's patches help it blend into its light and dark brown surroundings. But it's not just camo. The giraffe spots help them stay cool or warm and not just because the hair is darker in one spot and lighter in another. The spots point to something that's happening under the skin, a map of their blood vessels. And giraffes can use that map to move blood around strategically. It's a system that, as far as scientists know, is completely unique to giraffes. But it's already teaching us stuff about our own bodies and could help improve surgical procedures and results. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how. Now, here is the wild thing about this. We've only known about this system of blood vessels for a few years, and it wasn't discovered by a zoologist, but by a legendary plastic surgeon. I spent 50 years looking at the blood supply of the body, supplying different parts of the body for transplantation. I've been involved in a lot in transplanting tissue, and to do that, you have to know the artery supplying it and the vein draining it, which we transplant and reconnect with microsurgery. That's Ian Taylor. He's a legend in the plastic surgery world because he's a legend in learning and understanding how blood flows through skin. Decades ago, Ian and his colleagues figured out how to move big patches of skin from one part of the body to another and then get the blood to flow through it again. That way, surgeries after big injuries could heal. And they learned that by looking at the cadavers of lots of different kinds of animals. But when an Australian zoo donated the head and neck of a giraffe that was about to die, Ian and his colleagues saw something they had never seen before. When we do these, we inject the artery with a, a radio-opaque dye. It's an angiogram. It's into the artery, it spreads out, gives you the exact pattern of blood supply to the artery. We did this in the giraffe and found out every single patch, no matter how small or how big, had its own discrete artery supplying it, which was absolutely unique. Each of a giraffe's spots has a main artery and then lots of little blood vessels that fan out to fill the spot. It's kind of like the veins on a leaf. Around the outside of each spot, there's a big, thick vein. And giraffes can quickly dump warm blood from the arteries into these veins. They do this with something called a shunt. It acts kind of like a traffic light. So the blood is flowing along its normal path, but then instead of going from the big arteries to the smaller blood vessels through the capillaries, it just goes in the other direction, right into the veins. This whole system, the branching arteries, the surrounding vein, it's called an angiosome. And here's why it's important. When a giraffe gets hot, it can quickly move blood from the arteries into the veins, where it's closer to the skin and it can be cooled off. It's kind of like how when you're exercising, if your veins start to pop up, it's so that the blood can be closer to the relatively cooler air around your body, so your blood can cool down. The angiosome system also helps when the giraffes feel cold. And if you have a giraffe that's got a cold area in its body, it can divert the heated blood from an overheated patch or a warm patch to the cold one to even out the body temperature.
Hey, it's Greg. If you're enjoying the video and all these giraffes, please hit the subscribe button. Your support warms me like a giraffe's spots do. Dr. Taylor told me three incredible things about this system in giraffes. First, it's completely unique to giraffes. He has studied other animals with spots and stripes, jaguars, cheetahs, zebras, and other animals, and he's never seen this. The blood vessels don't normally do this. The second thing is that Taylor believes that the giraffes had the spots first as camouflage, and then they developed this blood vessel system second. Apparently, blood vessels can be really pliable. Because that's the other side of my research. I know that clinically we can rearrange the shape of blood vessels and change their pattern. We know that, for example, if you get cancer, it, it, it develops its own blood supply and makes the vessels come to it. The blood supply of your body is flexible and it can be rearranged to match the environment around it. And that's why I think the design of the blood supply of the patches came after their body developed them for camouflage. Third, learning about this system in giraffes has taught us more about how the blood vessels in our own bodies work. Apparently, we have similar stoplight shunts that can move blood in one direction to go in the other really quickly. Because of the giraffe, we went back and looked at the human. We found a lot of shunts in the human that, didn't, that weren't known about. Possibly, if your blood pressure suddenly goes up, instead of bursting a valve, so to speak, it can dump it into the vein and short circuit the pressure just temporarily to cope with a sudden rise in pressure. Scientists are still learning more about how the shunts in our bodies work. But Dr. Taylor believes as we start to understand it more, learning about the giraffes could change the way that open heart surgeries are done in humans. One of the things I've been telling our cardiac surgeons is they, for example, um, do a lot of uh, open heart surgery and they take your radial artery out of your forearm and use it to bypass to get to uh, a blood supply to your coronary arteries from the aorta or whatever. And when they take it, they take the vein with it. But that's a life a flap, if you like, it's a live piece of tissue they have put into the heart with a vein. If they connected up the vein as well, they may find that not only does the artery run into the coronary artery it's connected to, but it may also sprout at the end and grow new vessels into the heart wall. So that's how and why a giraffe got its quadricular spots. Thank you so much to someone commenting for asking that question in the first place, to Dr. Taylor for explaining it to me, and to you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and come back next month for more adventures out here.